For 30 years, we have been hosting an Oktoberfest gathering at our farm in Mathias, West Virginia. The idea originated in 1974 when we wanted to thank our friends who were helping us convert an old sheep barn into a weekend getaway. We decided to invite them to an Oktoberfest to enjoy the beauty of the fall season in the Lost River Valley. Our friends invited their friends, and as the children grew up, they began inviting their friends. As kids went away to college, many of them continued coming back each year. People camp out for as many as five days in the meadow, and the gatherings are highlighted by a potluck barbecue supper and bluegrass and acoustic music jam sessions lasting well into the night. In 2004, people came from as far away as Washington State, Arizona, Nevada, Florida, New York, North Carolina, Vermont, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Maryland, T.C., as well as many West Virginians. The 30th Oktoberfest gathering was celebrated in 2004 with a lawn concert on a hay wagon and commemorative t-shirts. Many fine musicians participated. We hope you enjoy the concert. <laughs> Like these, to think a 
bus again. I'm Paula Dan's mom, and I'm from Las Vegas. I'm a Texan. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> My name's Will, and I'm from Newburgh, Maryland. I'm from Virginia. I'm from Africa. Well, we live above Lost River Park. Hi. Are you from I'm, who are you? I'm Kathy, and I'm from Lost River. Beam me up. There's no intelligible life down here. <laughs> yeah, Ram, cut in the line. Is that cool? Where are you from, Bill? Bill? I'm going to say Hunkerson's Gap. Hunkerson's Gap, is that Matthias? Sure is. How about how far from here? About six miles. Six miles. And what about yourself? Uh, Maryland. I'm Robert. I'm from Waldorf, Maryland. Uh, Denny, how long have you been coming here? Oh, let's see. I think this is probably 23rd year. Hot stuff coming through. <laughs> okay, Ray, you want a full plate? Cool sandal. Oh, oh, you didn't eat yet. That looks healthy. Is that look great? Is it looks great, man. Let's go in for close up. All right, what are you eating here? Say, we got uh, pork and ham and chicken and double chocolate tiramisu. Oh. And let's see, macaroni and cheese, sauerkraut, potato salad, salad, all kind of goodies. It has been uh, probably 1982 that I, since I was here last, and I'm 30, how many years now? 34. And I met Rich in probably fourth grade or third grade, and we became fast friends and did all kinds of bike riding and, and uh, mountain climbing out here and catching crayfish in the creek over there. I remember one we caught is very big. Uh, seems like forever since I've been here, but the memories come back pretty fast, so it's good to be here again. I got a special guest coming out to play on this song with me. It's a song by Jimmy Hendrix. Well, Jimmy Hendrix made it popular, a song called Hey Joe. And this is my old neighborhood buddy who I haven't seen in probably good old seven or eight years. Brett? Seven or eight. Eight or nine or ten. I don't know how time flies. We came up Friday night for the first time. That's Ray and Judy's barn up there. They've done so much work. Well, here it is. There's the famous outhouse. One other hardy group that made it up last night. Prettiest country. These are called hollers, and everything is situated back in little level spaces in the mountains. There's a real high mountain back up over that ridge that we always hike up to. It's about a five-mile hike, but the view is just incredible. Good morning. Good morning. Happy to you, man. Oh, motorcycle accident, oh, man. Hey, yeah, I got some pictures, man. Come here, check them out. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> My God, is that what you did? Yeah, yeah that's. Holy God. That's me. And where was this? That was at uh, this one's at Summit Point, not too far from here. Remember I called you, Ray? Right? Yeah. And this one's at VIR. Oh, this is my first fifth place I got. I beat this dude. That's one of my good buddies. <laughs> How you been, man? You doing all right? 
All right, yeah, man, you're gonna be careful. Mm -hmm. That's right, the North Carolina. That's you right. <laughs> This is one of the. Uh, this is good. Prizes. Southern culture on the skids. This is a uh, second prize for the 50 50 raffle yeah. we're having. Oh. It's 24 live shows from Shelly's CD prize. collection that we put together. And do you know third prize is one of your DVDs that you're going to be making? And fourth prize is a t shirt. And first prize, of course, is half the. 50-50, and the other half goes to you guys for the pig and oh, wow. the porta johns. Pigs and porta. Five o'clock yep. we eat, and seven o'clock <laughs> we eat. We're making some food for the potluck, so. Okay. We'll definitely be there. Okay. <laughs> and you've been coming since you've been two years old and one years old. No, I think I was like a month old the first time they brought me up here. You know, so. I just turned 21 last 21. month. So you know yeah. you like to drink beer out here, huh? Yep. Legally. Exactly. Yeah. I don't have to be sneaky about it anymore. Okay. <laughs> From Pittsburgh. That's right. We came all the way from Pittsburgh to this gathering and I just couldn't wait to get my t shirt. Before and after. Here's before. <laughs> Big show. Is it kind We're of ready. Nerve -wracking? We're ready. I just thought I'd let you know what I've got to say. 
you folks come from? Desperation. Desper Desperation, West Virginia. You know where it is? This is Ray's and Judy's party, Oktoberfest, 1996. It's almost like an Indian camp. There's Lizzie and Bruce finally got out, and there's the eagle nest in the background. 
A good time will be had by all. Uh, they'll be picking and bringing all night. Now I hear a little rock and roll going on. Bruce and Jesse. Could be. They may be in the same band. <laughs> Judy, and Rick, Judy and Rick are dressed identical. Oh, their Sandy. red shirts and their uh, bib overhauls. He comes with the show, Sandy. Come on, be cool. Okay. Stick with the script. All right, I smell gas. I'm going to try it again. Here it goes. Oh, the chain tightens. I hope our bumper stays on. <laughs> Come on, pull that bumper. I smell gas, though. Oh, it's moving. There you go. You got it. You got it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep it moving. There you go. Yeah. All right. Bruce is no longer a stick in the mud. <laughs> Girl has it figured out. Watch this. All kinds of problems. Definitely the hopscotch of the creek. There's our host, Ray. Look at this. This is... Sunday AMs have never been very active. <laughs> Morning, hey. I get everybody in the movies here. Look at the caboose. Got the engine on the wrong end. Looks like that thing's gonna pull the truck. Here comes Chef Boyard Don't. All right, what's that mean? <laughs> Out of here too. <laughs> All right, double header, huh? Well, the All battery right. dead, so it was so quiet sitting like, there. Was there. Was quiet. <laughs> too much beer and wine. Is that good? <laughs> Top of the morning. <laughs> That you're leaving on the next train coming down. I love you, dear, but I won't follow. I just think I'll stay around. For someday I know you want me when your true love can't be found. But if you go, dear, I won't follow. I just think I'll stay around. Everybody in the movies here today. It's a sunny Sunday. Raceway Park. Relaxing in the sun. To be satellite TV, my God. And uh, I sold you. Look at this. They're piney. Piney finally got a steady job. He's been floored city-wise. Carpets, linoleum, and tile. He does the whole show.
Roughly. When's the first of the first year? I think it was I don't remember. I think it's been about 15, 15 years now. I think. Okay. So I, I lived in DC for 13 years, so and I came down the first year I moved to DC. Okay, I see we're in a Sonic, Seattle Sonics. Where where are you from? Spokane, Washington. And how'd you get here? I flew. The arms get tired? Pardon? Your arms get tired? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long flight. Right. Jim Calvin, you notice, oh, well, you, you haven't yeah. been here. When he's going to do something up there, play up there, whatever, he'd come down here and he would change clothes and he would put on a getup of some kind. Yeah. Because, his, because he said, Bill Monroe told him when he was first playing, you're going to play in front of the people, you got to respect the people. You put your Sunday best on. And, Jen, of course, Sunday best for Jim Calvin is a little bit different than it was for most folks. <laughs> <laughs>
people here what you're doing. I'm uh, getting my truck unloaded so I can uh, start cooking my beans, get my kettle off. How old's that kettle? The big what? one. How old's the big kettle? Uh, probably close to 100 years old. Is that right? So it's made a lot of beans. Yeah. Okay, well you notice this, what was the name of that group you had? The Black Bean Society or the Black, what was it? Black Kettle Society. Black Kettle Society, okay. <laughs> I'm the last one left. <laughs> what happened to the other ones? <laughs> uh, they got ask? tired of it. <laughs> Four walls around me to 
Lisa, good to see you all. The best. Thank you. You're going to be in a movie. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> song that he is auditioning for all state chorus with so we thought it would be a good opportunity for him to come up here and sing with me in front of a crowd before he goes to sing in front of a jury so we're going to do the water is wide because it's a song that I've been doing for quite a few years and it happens to be the song that the all state chorus has picked for him to do so it'd be a good experience for him he's very excited the water is wide I can't get over And neither I The wings to fly Give me a boat That can carry two and bow shall roll, my love and I. And bow shall roll, my love and I. Good job. Okay, any musical no. instrument before you started? No, I didn't. I mean, I played the piano and sang, but I think coming up here got me motivated to play my guitar, to pick up a guitar and learn. And I may not be the greatest. In fact, every time I get my strings replaced and somebody else plays it, it sounds much better. But I have fun. I enjoy it. It's
every girl I see reminds me of you. Every girl I see reminds me, reminds me trying to make a call, but there's banging on the typewriter. You started first, now it's time to clean up. Did you have a hard time getting in here? No, I got that truck, so. I got four-wheel drive. I didn't have a hard time. Didn't you have to put it in four-wheel drive? Yeah. But I don't like going over that bridge. That scares me every time, because I can't see oh, yeah. above my hood of my truck. So I'm like, oh, I hope I stay on, I hope I stay on. Yeah. It's sort of one of those unrequited love songs. Shot myself in the head and you don't even care. Held my breath till I was dead and you don't even care. Even nailed a note to my forehead saying you don't even care. And I hate it when you treat me this way. myself the other night and you don't even care burnt my lips on your tailpipe and you don't even care 
You told me that I never did a single thing for you Not even when I choked and turned your favorite shade of blue Hung myself and I suppose that you don't even care Right next to your favorite clothes and you don't even care Strung up by your pantyhose and you don't even care And I hate it when you treat me this way I flung myself off of your roof and you don't even care My dead corpse is living proof that you don't even care I landed flat with a big fat splat on my way down I called your name so folks could blame you all over town I Stuck grenades into my jeans and you don't even care Blew my butt to smithereens and you don't even care Hell you weren't even listening cause you don't even care I hate it when you treat me this way I climbed into the lion's den and you don't even care I never climbed back out again but you don't even care They pawed me and they clawed me the way you used to do and When they ripped my heart out I could only think of you Crashed and bashed and smashed myself, and you don't even care. I trashed and gashed and slashed myself, and you don't even care. Even made a flame and ash of myself, and you don't even care. And I hate it when you treat me like I'm maladjusted. I hate it when you treat me like I'm codependent. I hate it when you treat me like I'm self-destructive. I hate it when you treat me this way. You know, we haven't had a huge hand yet for Ray and Judy for, for this. Isn't this wonderful? Thank you guys. For 30 years of this. <laughs> We've been coming here for 17 years. We haven't missed a year. And there's one date on our calendar that's, that's always set before the year begins, and that's this, so thank you. farmer, skinny mule. He parts the red clay like it was the Red Sea. It is a legacy for both me and you. You are a black man, I am a white man. Both come from the Southland, both doing the best we can. The Grim Reaper was my brother's keeper. The way my brother was kept, small wonder Jesus wept. It is a legacy passed down to you and me, what we learn to believe. We do not question these things. It is a legacy, a wild and bitter seed, blown across those fertile fields where the roots run deep. We both got callous.
honest hands, blue-collared working men down here in Bubba Land. What's in a name? Both working rent to rent, some on the government. We are quite different. We are the same. It is a legacy passed down to you and me. What we're taught to believe. We never question these things. It is a legacy, a wild and bitter seed blown across those fertile fields where the roots run Some days we congregate, praise Jesus, pass the plate, sitting in our Sunday best, singing hymns and mopping sweat. We learn the golden rule in separate Sunday schools, in a house long divided against itself. It is a legacy passed down to you and me, what we choose to believe. We dare not question these things. It is a legacy, a wild and bitter seed, scattered on those fertile fields where the roots run deep. Where the roots run deep. Where the roots run deep. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good morning, Raymond. Hello. Happy Oktoberfest. Welcome to Monday morning, strictly for the hardcore. <laughs> you probably have to be careful about sticking that, that camera and that microphone in people's faces on the fourth day of camping, right? <laughs> Figure it out, Ray. I'm not going to hit it. Turn that down. This only works with the two people in it. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Kathy would be a good interview before you. Know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, Pat and Sully, they, they, they want to stay down in a... Cindy, did you find them? Good morning. Good morning. I can't see you through there, but I know um, you're in there somewhere. That's I probably for the best. <laughs> well, I hear that guys go to family reunions and pick up girls, right? Oh, really? Oh, oh that's Arkansas. Oh. Well, my family's from California, and we don't do that. <laughs> I don't know about these West Virginia boys. What you doing, Jeff? Washing dishes. Hey, say. I pay my
We got Walt up here giving us a hand on this old five-string banjo. Neil, he's going to get us started here. Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. You still got to hook up that mic. We got Jesse here on the bass, man. And Janet, Ms. Gilly's up there giving us a hand there. And I'm Dave on the guitar. Try Johnny Cash out song on you. At my door, the leaves are falling. The cold wild winds will come. Sweethearts walk by together, and I still miss. I never got over those blue eyes I see them everywhere I miss the arms that held me When all of her love, it was there So 
for leaving what we had begun. There's someone for me somewhere, and I still miss someone. Said I never got over those blue eyes. I see them everywhere. I miss the arms that held me when all. All right, Johnny, eat your heart out. A true man doing true work. Watch this, La Bamba. Son of a gun, he got it by cracking. <laughs> this is a recycled axe or a recycled log. I know. All right, double header. Right, we're going to close in on this. Oh. Good try! Yeah. He's splitting coconuts, it sounds like. Uh, use the axe. <laughs> All right! I'm walking from one bar to another Well, I don't know where I've gone or where I've been No one I meet realizes That I'm trying when I know I just can't win A memory of your smile, it nearly drives me wild This pain's gonna wind up. It gets worse day by day since you've gone. If only you would stop by and see me. It's my fault though that you can't from now on. A memory of your smile, it nearly drives me wild.
Mr. Walter Weeks. Hey, he's your local taxidermist. We're advertising for a taxidermist show. How many years have you been uh, cooking uh, uh, pigs? Well, I've been doing cooking really ever since I've been about 15 years old. Uh huh. And got into there doing the hog cooking and beef, and things like that. I guess in the past Here's your 12 years. And then this smoker that I got, I made it myself. Did you really? What'd you make it out of? Well, it's all sheet metal, but it's in my own design. Uh -huh. uh, I used to, I like to play music too. I used to have to stay up with the hog all night and I was wore out. I didn't have time to have fun myself. So this in here, once I get it going, I can stoke it down like a wood stove. And it's good for like eight hours on its own. Well, it sure is good pork. Super. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm glad y'all like it. Love it. How far is heaven? When can I? Welcome to yeah, sing along sing with along. us. <laughs> the more the merrier. <laughs> There's a place dear to me where I'm longing to be with my friends at the old country church. There with mother I went and my Sundays I spent with my friends at the old country church precious years of memory oh what joy it brings to me how I long once more to be with my friends at the old country church close beside her and to me did softly say I've just seen the rock of ages Jacob's letter hanging down I just crossed the river of Jordan now my son I'm homeward bound Thank you very much. Hey Rick, thanks for all that great thing. All righty, y'all take care. Right, bye -bye. Yeah. All right, there he goes, smoking. Rick, you're smoking. Hey, we love you. Have a safe trip. Remember that pig. There goes Rick down the road, smoking.
Amanda, how old were you when you first came out here? I was seven. Seven years <laughs> old. What was your first, what was your thoughts when you were seven years old coming out here camping? I don't know if I had thoughts. I think you were just thinking about <laughs> going and playing with the cats and <laughs> playing a war on the mountainside. I'm not sure.
<laughs> okay, Ray, how many years has this been? This is 24, Bill. 24. Year, I hope you can come back and it's been up the 25 year anniversary. Incredible. And uh, we hope everybody can make it again. It's a beautiful party. Thank you, thank you very much. And
off the plane down in Memphis Shook hands and hugged Jumped in the car, headed straight for the bar Well, there's not much open at 10 a.m. But you know we're bound to find a friend It's so good to see you again So glad you found me Just don't let the sun catch you Coming out of Printer's Alley Stepped off at 12 It wasn't the easy way Paid the man Wouldn't you know We paid him again Heading outside the city Gonna get a little shitty In the sunshine in the backyard again Highs, but only one of them is mine All oh, beautiful, no doubt Like their mama She got it going on Oh, that Memphis sound She got me rolling around In the dirt so sweet I want to stay Just not today wasn't round. The cat disappeared with a blood-curdling shriek and the town people's meat tasted furry for a week. But the cat came back the very next day. Thought he was a goner but the kitty came back cause he wouldn't stay away. So they took him to Cape Canaveral and they put him in a place. They shot him in a rocket going way out in space. They finally thought the cat was out of human reach. Next day they got a call from Miami Beach and the cat came back the very next day. Thought he was a goner, but the kitty came back cause he wouldn't stay away. Now the cat was a possessor of a family all its own with seven little kittens till there came a cyclone. Blew the houses all apart and tossed the cat around. The air was full of kittens and not a one was found. But the cat came back the very next day. Thought she was a goner, but the kitty came back cause
But she wouldn't stay away 